Welcome back. It's a Monday morning. We're live, large and in charge on your feel-good breakfast show. Now, we're joined by a legend in the world of space exploration, the former head of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, Major General Charles Bolden. Now, Major General Charles Bolden uh, served as the head of NASA from 2009 till 2017 and oversaw the transition to a new era of exploration. And this new era of exploration includes an unprecedented landing on Mars with the Curiosity rover, the launch of a spacecraft to Jupiter and continued progress toward the 2018 launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, or the JWST, uh, the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. And uh, he's here to have a conversation with us, uh, uh, of course, joined by our our regular, I guess, guy with, the, with his finger on the pulse of everything space, Dr. Daniel Kalmer. Gentlemen, thank you very much for having or for being here with us on this Monday morning. We really appreciate it. It's good to be here. Thanks we're in, very we're much. in the presence of greatness, Dan. We sure are. This Real astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, uh, Major General, tell us, what brings you to South Africa? Well, I'm actually here uh, as a part of a program with the U.S. State Department. I was selected to spend one year as what's called a State Department Science Envoy for Space. Mm -hmm. And we're selected several regions of the world, and we're traveling for 12 months to talk about STEM education with kids but also to talk about the importance of collaboration with the United States in areas of science and technology and engineering. And also because NASA kind of led the way toward commercial and public-private partnerships to talk to people about the potential for partnering with industry in their countries and the United States yeah. uh, in carrying out the space effort of today. Yeah. Why South Africa, though? I think a lot of people oh, might be oh, looking oh, at, at South, South Africa, Africa as, as a continent. Um, wow. You know, some people may remember I was here um, 2011 as a part of the International Astronautical Congress when Cape Town was the host city, mm -hmm. uh, South Africa was the host country, uh, a, a, a gathering of international people in the area of space and science and everything else. And uh, I met with the leaders of five African nations who had space agencies. South Africa is the number one uh, country in, in, on the continent for, for space operations. Mm -hmm. They have the large square array, uh, their, their leaders in a lot of different things. So Experts South, like Daniel. South Africa <laughs> is the natural place to come yeah. if you want to try to encourage uh, development and involvement in the family of spacefaring nations. Yeah. Uh, Dan, having experts like uh, Major General Bolden here. He's the expert. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, get, I gotta get this right. It, it's, um, I'm, I'm in awe of these guys. <laughs> well, what do you think it means for the development of the field and the industry from a South African and African context being yeah. able to I mean, I think it's incredible. I mean, we've spoken on the show in the past, and, and we were speaking again this morning. Like the development that's going on in South Africa and Africa at the moment, um, in terms of uh, aeronautics, uh, SANSA, the space agency, and then as well as in astronomy. So um, the SALT telescope, the SKA telescope, Meerkat, which is now online. There is so much development going on in space and astronomy yeah. in South Africa and Africa, um, and it's it's just wonderful to have the support of. Uh, international partners and, yeah. and interest and, and just to, to, to see some sort of investment in, our, in what we've done. Yeah. I'll mention one more thing. Mm. South Africans should not forget that, although he doesn't talk about it a lot, the leader in helping us to develop commercial space is a South African. It's Elon Musk. There we go. And yeah. so yeah. when you talk about the game changer uh, in terms of space flight, uh, Elon is a risk taker who really helped us to change our game, to up yeah. our game, if you will. Yeah. I was looking at some of the pictures of you from earlier on in your day. That's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but as, as a way of encouraging young South Africans um, to get into the field of space exploration, perhaps focus on their skills of maths and science, tell me about what this career has done yeah. for your life, for you on a personal um, In my particular case, yeah. um, I, it's taken somebody who never dreamed of going to space. There, there's, I'd say roughly 50% of the astronauts, that's all they ever dreamed of. 50% are like me, who never dreamed of it. And, uh, and <laughs> people called up on a roll call know, one people, day. Uh, it's, it's almost like that. Charles, I kind you're of, up. <laughs> I kind of stumbled into it, but yeah. what I hope to do is help kids understand that they may not think they like math and science, but it's a part of their lives every single day, if, especially if they're an athlete or a musician or a dancer or something, math and science are at work every single day. Mm -hmm. Football's a big sport here, or rugby or a lot of other things. 
Um, they use math and physics every single day in trying to determine where a ball goes, and that's they just don't understand that. So that's what I try to do is say, look, if you study hard and you're willing to take a risk and you're not afraid of failure, um, you can do things that you never imagined doing. I never dreamed that I'd be wearing a funky-looking orange suit like that one day. Uh, and, Maybe and, festival and, and these days. It's, they are. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> uh, Major General Bolden, thank you very much for joining us, thank and you. we look Thanks forward to the successes uh, that you and your team will enjoy during your stay here, okay. and that you'll enjoy the country as well, Dan. Always yeah. appreciated. Uh, in the meantime, link up with us on our social media platforms and let us know which stories have caught your attention from the world of space exploration.